Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of CAD Lounge. Today we are going to do a more complicated mold. I'm going to do a mold around a window that is curved both vertically and horizontally. In my last video, I showed you guys how to do a basic mold. So today we're going to get it just a little bit complicated. I'm going to click on these two windows and just isolate them every time i'm using a finish such as a stone finish i usually use a double wall just to give some depth so this is the window we're going to build a mold for usually the preset in the library only has a mold that can either only go vertical or horizontal but not both when it comes to curves so sometimes you're in situations where you have to build on just like the last video we're going to start by creating a path that our mold is going to follow our first point we're going to look for an anchor point with that uh, round circle that has just been created and you want to move along the window opening looking for those individual anchor points that will guide you so that you're really more specific at this point you really have to take your time this will make life much easier when you're running your mold along this um, track so right now I'm going to just take my time and look for those individual points the the more time you take the more specific and neat your work will be or your mold will be when you eventually render it so I advise that you always take your time and sometimes it can be difficult just like now trying to find that point it kept taking me to the next point but you just have to be patient and as long as you can get through this step then the next step will be uh, so much better. So right now you can see I'm going to take you through one arch and then the other three you can just do on your own. So I'm just going to go slowly. As you can see, I'm not using the curve tool like I did in the last video because in the last video the curve was only curving in one direction, but this is more three dimensional. It's curving both vertically but also horizontally. The wall is curved. So it's better for you to go line by line so that you, you click the individual points that make this window opening so that it's also moving along the, the curve of the wall. So... Here it's getting a bit better. You just keep clicking away. And another piece of advice is never to double click. Whatever you do, take your time. And once you're secure on the point, or oh, the cursor will always change. Either if, you're, if it's on a pen tool, if you have reached your anchor point, it will either become a star, an eye, or the pencil will become um, a black, like filled in pencil. So there you know that you have clicked on an anchor. So whatever you do, just don't double, double click until you have reached your last point. Because this is a track you, don't, you can't break. You have to go continuously. So I'll just quickly go continuously through um, the rest of the thing and get back to you. So right now, this is the mold that I'm going to work with. I'm going to fill it in as a, as a mold. And then I'm going to look for my track that I've just uh, made and, and line them up. I've pushed it away from the building because I want to isolate everything so that I'm not competing with any other other things so we're just going to select only those two items so this will also make the work lighter much lighter 
I'm just managing its levels because I want it to start at the right height. Um, and then next thing we're going to do is click on the surface for an extraction and then go to the first point. In the last video, we used the middle point, but since this is running along the edge of the window, we're going to start from the first corner. And now this is going to be so much easier because you already have your track. You still have to go slow, but not as difficult as when you are drawing out your 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 track. So here you're just going to go slower. And actually, the smaller you make the the different points, the the smoother I find the the arch will be the mold the arch of the mold. So the anchor points that were on the other window are still here, so you can always find them. But because this is the only item we have selected in the whole drawing, um, your cursor is going to keep looking to it to guide it. So you can choose even smaller points along the track. And you just take your time. Sometimes it gets a bit frustrating because you can reach this far and then you accidentally get like a finger cramp and you double click and everything gets messed up. But I think something I've learned is really to take your time and not get worked up. Um, I think this is the second round I'm doing this. The first time when I tried, I'd reached a point and accidentally got, you see how it gets messed up? And then I clicked by accident. So I had to go back and start. So it's a bit frustrating, but it's really satisfying, the end result. So Archicad is just one of those tools, just like any other modeling tool, even if it was 3D Max, um, you'd still need to take your time and really draw something because the end product will really show your mistakes if you didn't take your time. So at this point, I'm just going to forward and move a bit faster. So it's, it's going to look like I did this in a short time, but I'm just rushing things so that I can... I said this video doesn't have to take so long, but at least you get the point from the first arch. So for this point, I'm really just going to peruse through it so that um, you can quickly see the end product. But I pretty much followed the same uh, method I use and just really following those anchor points. And yeah, it really took some time to finally finish without it getting um, messed up or screwed over. So that's why I say um, sometimes you can think, oh, I can't go this fast on a video. It's not always like that. Sometimes we just forward so that we don't give you a one hour long video. Um, yeah, so this is what we have. So I'm just going to get it and take it to um, the point uh, at which it's supposed to be at the window. And I'm going to rotate it just to make sure it fits perfectly. So just get the beginning points. You can see the, the original shape of the, uh, the mold. So you will always be able to, to get it. Make sure I don't delete the original uh, track. That's something I learned the hard way. Because sometimes you may need to edit something and then you lose the mold. But as long as you always have the original track, it's something you can go back and and do something like say someone changes the design of the mold <laughs> those things really happen during design stage so I'm just tweaking a few things so that it, it matches um, just changing the material of these um, columns so that they match the mold and the windowsill so so that is just neat and like I said, it takes a, a while. You can sit during a mode for like 30 minutes. 
but trust me it is so satisfying after you can see the different molds i've done on this facade and it's so satisfying thank you for watching and remember to subscribe like and share